In this video, we are gonna make this beautiful button. This is a very simple trick, using smart animation. And, it will be great for hotel booking websites. Hi, I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos. Please hit the subscribe buttons, and click the bell icon for notification. To start the design, let's take a frame. I have to mention that, whatever size I am taking here, is not the appropriate size of a button. I am using a bigger size so that the preview is big enough for your screen. This is a more appropriate size of a button, and it will look something like this. Now let me rename this to frame, slash, 1. Now, I'm gonna make an arrow icon, with a bit more flexibility in it. That's why drawing three rectangle shapes with a rounded edge. Rotate it to 45 degrees. Make a copy. Flip this and position it like an arrow. Arrow is incomplete without this straight line. Make it a bit long. Done, now group it. I want this frame with a rounded edge too, to look more like a button. Maybe it's looking too bulky. Let me just reduce the height of it. Reduce the size of this too. Let's take a rectangle with the same height as the frame. Give it a corner radius to make it a circle. Color it. Push it to the left side of the frame. The icon should be above the circle. Give the icon a dark color. For the initial position, I do not want this line to appear. Making it small, so it's not visible. Reposition this. Let's add a text now. Okay, the first step is complete. Now, let's make a copy of this frame. Hold Alt, and drag it down. Change the color of this form white to something a little shady. Make the text, small. Let's pull this to make it full width to the frame. But, I want this text below the shape. So, let's fix that. Pull this down from the layer tab. Same for this frame too. Now, make it to full width. I am going to reverse the icon design. Okay. 
Okay, add a text here. Book now. We are gonna apply smart animation here. And, it will come in the frame from outside of the frame. This is our final state. Now I have to put the initial state of the text in my previous frame, right here. Copy this. Select the frame, and paste. I am using the keyboard shortcut. Here, I am pushing the text, out of the frame's visible area, but not out of the frame. As you can see, the text is inside of the frame, just not visible. If it goes out somehow, just pull it in from the layer tab. I am using the keyboard left arrow key to push it further. For the next step, let's copy again. I'm gonna take another rectangle as per the same size of the frame, and make it full width. I want the icon to be above the new rectangle, but not the text. Color this one yellow. Copy this text, and paste it here. Change this to, Processing. So, for the smart animation, this is the final state. Now let's make the initial state. Copy this, and paste it to the previous frame. Rearrange the layers. Make it small until it's not visible. As you can see, I flipped the shape, out of visibility. This is wrong, and you will see why, after the prototype. Making another copy of it. And repeating the same thing. But, for this button, I will make this arrow to the tick symbol. Placing the initial state in the previous frame. Rearrange. And, I did the same mistake, I flipped it in the end. I will get back to it. Now, let's start prototyping. This will be direct to this frame, while hovering. This will be the smart animation. Select to ease in and out. 
Let's make this to 500 ms. From this frame, direct to this one. And, this will be on click. The rest will be the same. Just make this 300 ms. Okay, now from this frame, the user does not need to click anything else. After a delay, it will automatically show the booked button. Putting a 1 second delay here. And, make this 500 again. After that, again after a delay, it will go to the initial state and reset the loop. Putting a 2 second delay now. The rest will be the same. Now let's see. The beginning was okay, but because I flipped the rectangles in the previous frames. That's why the animation doesn't seem right here. Let's fix those. As you can see, I am on flipping this. Then push it with the keyboard arrow key. Let's do the same for this. Let's see the final results again. Now it's working perfectly. Great. So, there you go. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you are looking for a professional blogging site for your business, see the description for premium WordPress themes. And, I will see you in the next video.